April 15th, 16th and 17th, the trial of the seven NIDA movement activists and the member of the Azad Genjlik organization Ilkin Rizamzadeh continued in Baku court on grave crimes. Jehun Bayramov, the expert to give opinion regarding the bottles and parcels taken during the search in Mehmet Azizov's, Bakhtiar Guliyev's and Shahinov Ruzla's apartments, testified. He gave inconsistent answers to the questions. Video questioning of the three activists in the Ministry of National Security was displayed afterwards. Turning to the judge, defendant Rashadat Akundov's attorney, Namik Hajiyev, said they cannot communicate with their clients. Guards escorting them prevent us from handing them letters and written documents. They either do not allow giving the letter or take and read them, said Hajiyev. Judge responded that it was completely unlawful and that only folded paper is permitted to be opened and viewed. On April 17th, the public prosecutor requested sentences for the defendants, eight and a half years for Zahar Gurbanli, eight and a half years for Rishadat Akundov, eight years for Rishad Hasanov, eight and a half years for Ilkin Rusamzada, eight years for Bakhtiar Gliyev, eight years for Mehmet Azizov, six and a half years for Shahin Nowruzlu, and seven and a half years for Uzair Mehmetli. The youth announced that as of today, they start hunger strike in protest against the prosecutor's speech. We'll continue the hunger until we are released, said the activists. The trial will continue on April 22nd with speeches by defense lawyers. Note that the seven activists of NIDA civic movement were detained in April and May of 2013 and are charged with planning to use Molotov cocktails during a mass protest in Baku on March 10, 2013. Some of the youths are also charged with illegal possession of drugs. Member of the Azad Genj League organization Ikin Rizamzada, who is co-accused with NIDA activists, was detained on May 17, 2013. He was first charged with hooliganism, then additionally with organizing riots and attempting to participate in them. Amnesty International has recognized all of the youth as the prisoners of conscience.